Hey, welcome to another episode of ZBrush on the iPad. This is Ike. Now, last time around, we got this base model out of ZBrush and sliced it up as if we were going to send it to our resin 3D printer. And the way we do that is with Decimation Master. What Decimation Master does is it takes it from being 2.3 million polygons and brings that down to something manageable, right? So if you don't want this palette to keep disappearing, you can just grab this and then now it's undocked it. Now I can work <clears throat> outside of the palette and it's still there. So we'll do that. And what we want to do first is pre-process it. And let's say 20% is the default. Um, so we, we're going to get 20% of our current polygons. So we'll pre-process all. So what that does is it just looks at the legs and the body and did its thing. Okay. So you can see it up here. Operation completed. And now we can say decimate all. Theory. Oh, I didn't say Siri. Goodbye, Siri. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it just took a minute. So, still pretty high density. It made these areas that were really flat. That's the nice thing about Decimation Master, is it keeps the detail where you need it and gets rid of it where you don't. So, these flat areas are going to be lower polygon. But you can see we're still at 1.8 million, which is pretty big. So let's go down to like 5%. Hit decimate all again. I'm just looking to see if there's any major defects that appear. Cannot decimate. Subtools are not pre-computed. All right. So maybe it's the pre-process all that gives us problems, huh? Decimate current. There we go. So the all stuff, not working that great. But that's a good decimation because if I go back here, you know, yeah, you can see some polygonal type stuff going on there, but, you know, it's relatively clean. Yeah, let's go up a little higher. Decimate current. Okay, cool. So if you keep with the current and not try to decimate all of it at once, it's going to be happier. All right, and that gives us a smooth surface. So 3D printing, high resolution in resin, that's pretty good. All right, let's go to bottom half and pre-process current with that as well. Decimate current. See, that's, that's the speed I'm used to. I don't know what this uh, decimate all crap, why that's not working. But you can see it kind of destroyed my uh, key there, so we don't like that. Can we undo it? Yep. So that was a little too far. Let's try that. Pre-decimate uh, current? Yeah. Kept it. We're happy with that. Let's view it. Oh, maybe it's not still a little too dense. I don't know why there's so many more polygons. Oh, oh yes. Okay. We have a bunch of other crap going on in our file. That's why it was taking so long. A lot of hidden stuff I had forgotten about. <laughs> so, Delete that. When we're ready, we want to just make sure we're down to our final two subtools. Okay, that feels better. That's feeling better. Oh. All right, but subtool here, can I? 
that back up. Make it smoother. Yep. So play with it, get the results you want, but essentially once you are happy with that, then what you want to do is export your subtools. Export to OBJ file, which, you know, I wish there was STL export in here. That would just make it a little cleaner, but I don't know that it has that. I don't know what this, this must be where it's going to go. Um, should just be the name. So, uh, woman, print, hit OK, file exported, not exactly sure, OK, here we go, application, documents, woman, print. So that's where it put it. I don't know why it didn't give us an option to export it to my 3D files area, but hey, it is what it is. So let's get out of ZBrush and open up files. And we got recents here. All right. here search for file name there it is woman print cool has been changed would you like oh, yeah, cancel so we found it we don't want to open it though okay so if we go to select select that woman print, then we want to share it, right? It's only 1.3 megs. So you could airdrop it to yourself, send it to Dropbox, you know, email it to yourself even. Those are all good ways. I'll just airdrop it to myself, send it to my computer. So that is the process of going from getting your model to where you want it, using the Decimation Master, and then exporting your model out of the iPad on your computer where you can jump into your slicing software and do your thing. So I hope that's helped. You know, now that I'm thinking of it, I've actually done a video on slicing. So I'll go ahead and in the meantime, you know, I may create another video, but I'll add that link to the comments of this video. So check it out. And until next time, my friends, happy ZBrushing.